hello guys in this video we are going to introduce css and um, we are going to continue working on the simple web uh, page which we started in our last video on introduction to html so right away let's get started okay so as you can see on my screen this is where we left off um, in our video on introduction to html we touched um how we can you know use some couple of elements we talked about many things and this is where we ended the video and um, today we are going to introduce css so what exactly is css and what is it used for so css stands for cascading style sheet and um it is um used to style web pages it is used to style web pages so as you notice html just describes uh, perhaps how you know content is being put on a web page um, while css then um, you know adds styles on you know these elements or tags right so consider html as a skeleton while um, css adds you know flesh and adds some clothes and some fancy colors and makes a web page look beautiful so right away um i said earlier css stands for cascading style sheet you know one thing you should take note of for those writing exams or going for an interview um so let's look at a basic syntax of um, css so as you can see on my screen, um, here is a website, um, w3schools.com, and it's a common website for learning more on HTML, CSS, and other web programming languages. So um, as you can see here on my screen, um, this is a CSS syntax, where each one represents a selector, and this entirely represents a block. So um, permit me copy this and paste this on notepad so we can explain better. Okay, that's it. So this is um, a syntax, this is a CSS syntax, meaning this is how, um, you know, styling, you know, is written in css where um, p here represents a selector i'm going to talk about that in a bit um while this represents a block you know so this is a property color is a property and red is a value so when written this way the browser interprets this as you know asking the browser to add a red color to that paragraph and align the paragraph center right that's actually how simple it is to understand css right so styling actually occurs in um, you know property and value you know you write the styles in property and value where color represents the property here in this case and red represents the value the same with text aligning and center so you could just already imagine if you were to you know add some more styles to the paragraph you would want to add more properties and values within this block right so let's um, take a look at perhaps wikipedia and see for ourselves Um, I think we used an example on this in our last video. So let's um, take a look at that. Still on Wikipedia, you can already notice how different colors are used, right? You notice a different color over here, you notice a different color over here. Um, on this section, you, you, you notice, you know, bold, you notice the color over here. And, you know, all of these can actually be done with CSS. 
doing styling on our web page so let's um, continue let's talk a little bit about selectors what are selectors so selectors simply refer to selectors simply refer to um, you know which element or which tag you are actually targeting to style now remember this simple web page you know which we left off in our last video uh, so here we can see we can have you know we have the uh, two paragraph tags we have an anchor tag uh you know in between our body tag right so uh as you can notice we have you know other elements so let's let's add let's say an h two here and let's say m right so if we save this and refresh our web page we are going to have an n here you know so on this um, web um, document or this HTML document we have the paragraph tag we have the you know heading tag right so the selector simply you know is a way of figuring out you know or pointing I don't want to use the word select you know or targeting which tag exactly you want to style right because the content you find on an html web page have been added using tags right or elements that was discussed in the last video so with css then we are kind of looking for a way to style this right so selectors then come into play to target which element exactly are we styling so with the example I used here, you notice that we have P, right, which is the element we start. So this form of selector is called the simple selector. So the simple selector, you know, um, you know, uses either the name of the element, the ID, or the class of the element to style that element. Right, that's how the simple selector works. So in this case, you'd notice that we used. In this case, you'd notice we used the name of the element, right? So we use the p tag. You know the paragraph tag added with this. So guys, I want you to know that this is conventional, right? This is conventional. It wasn't decided by us. No, you know. Was decided by an organization in charge of this so it is conventional all around the world so that's why it's called the syntax the way of you know writing the style right so with a simple selector you know we select an element you know based on either its name its id or its class so in this example we used the name of the element right which is the paragraph tag because looking at the web page itself it's the tag itself is called the p tag right so the element can equally be styled using its id or its class now what exactly is id and class now id simply refers to um, it's an attribute which you can add on an html element or tag you know in order to give it a unique identity and this is important because um, you can see this example on my screen we use the p tag here to style you know the p element now what does it mean you are simply telling the browser to style every paragraph it finds in the HTML document right so your browse so if if this is added to our HTML document the browser is going to style all the HTML, all the paragraphs we find. So as you can see, we have two paragraphs on our HTML document, right? We have two paragraphs, right? But you might want to, you know, 
um, you might find yourself in a case where you are asked to style just one paragraph, right? Just one paragraph. And then what are you going to do then? You can add an ID attribute. So for example, we can add an ID this way and we say the name of, our, of the ID of this paragraph is, let's say, um, let's just use para one right para one is the id so using um you know uh selecting this paragraph using the id what we simply need to do is to you know let me just copy this and paste here so what we do then is simply by adding an asterisk and we do para one so when we do para one and you know combine with the style you know as a selector what happens here is the browser is going to look for the exact paragraph that has the id one so in this case the browser is going to style just this paragraph right just this is a home page right now we also have a class which is very similar to the id but the difference between them is that a class can be given to the same class can be given to many other elements or many other tags right while an id is unique and note that an id doesn't start with a number in generally it's a rule in html an id doesn't start with a number so um let's use an example for class now um let's assume that you might want to um you might have let's say you might have three paragraphs right and you'd want to style just um let's say you might want to style just two right you might want to style just two so what you can what so, so what you can possibly do is give them the same class right so you could just do a class the same class and using the class then to add the style all you need to do is you don't use an, an asterisk in this case you use a dot right dot power one and this so that's it about simple selectors you know simply means selecting an element based on its name or id or class now let's move on how then can we add css to our html document how then can we add css to our html we have three ways which we can do that right we have the inline we have the internal and we have the external method right so um for a reference we can head on to to re schools so um, I think I showed you guys this website in our first video and it could be your quick re reference point if ever you want to get more on HTML or CSS right so there are three ways of ins inserting a style sheet so we have the external CSS we have the internal CSS and we have the inline CSS so we are going to begin with the internal css right now for the internal css um let's have an example from here yes for the internal css the css code is written you know um in the same you know html document I mean combined with the HTML code right so how do we apply this let's look at the internal let's apply the internal method so for the internal CSS what happens is that um, the CSS code or this you know the style is applied in the same HTML document using a tag called the style tag right so let us do this let us add the style 
right? Now, in between the style tag and the style tag comes, you know, in between the head tag, after the head tag, like in between the head tag, yeah? And this is where we write our CSS code, right, or style. Let me use that. So, let us, um, yes, let us do this for the paragraph and see how it works. So, let's remove the class glasses okay and that's saved control s all with this then if we refresh our page you notice that our two paragraphs have you know become red and have been aligned to the center and that is exactly what we asked our css to do for us right you know we selected the paragraph tag you know based on its name yes and we said we added two properties right the color property and the text align where the color had to change to red and the text align had to change to center and you realize that it, it worked right this is how CSS can easily be applied. So let's perhaps do this based on using the class rather. So let's, uh, or let's say the ID rather. So let's give it an ID of para one. So let's say para one. And you'll notice just one paragraph will be affected so let's um, do this and we do a para one right so if we refresh what do you notice you notice that this is a home page has become red the first paragraph has been affected so let us do the same for for style um, let us do the same but by using the class name right so let us um, add a class is equal to para one, right? Um, and let's do the same thing here. Let's give them the same class. And remember, for selecting based on class name, what do you do? You use a dot, right? And there you go so your class name or your ID can be whatever you know in my case I just decided to use this yours could be something else which could maybe help you identify your elements uh, better so uh, that's it let us then see how to style um, or maybe let's give this a different color right let's maybe give the second paragraph a blue color right so let's say um, so to do that we would need to give this an ID right so let's give this an ID so let's say ID paragraph for paragraph one and let's give this an ID for as um, paragraph two right okay so the first style applies for paragraph one remember it's an id so we want to add paragraph add a style to paragraph two so we use the same syntax no and we do color so let's give it a blue color right this color here refers to the text color right so let's give it a blue color yeah let's say blue color and and let's align this center equally so notice how it is being written because this is conventional 
trying to translate this or trying to change the order won't work right trying to change the syntax i mean yes so you'd notice paragraph one is um red and paragraph two blue right so let's refresh our page and check it out so as you can see the effect has been made right has been up so paragraph two has been affected and given it a blue color so let's figure out um So there is a possibility okay so let's maybe try to do some modifications on um on the heading perhaps right so let's select now based on um, the class name you know so let's do an h2 right and here we can give it so here we can say um, color green right so our h2 is going to have a green color that said right so um This is how you can easily apply CSS, um, you know, to your HTML document. So we have used the internal CSS. So uh, as you can see, the property and the values are really simple. So it would then interest you to learn more of these property and values, um, you know, so you can better style your page, right? So. Um, you can find them on this website you know but most but most of the the ones you know used in you know schools or you know aren't really that um, in depth right furthermore we can style the body we can style the body of our um, web page right by giving it a color So we can say body, right? And background color. Right, you can see green. Just for example, you know, and see how it works. So on refreshing our page, you can see the changes have been made, right? So um, in the same way, you can add styles for be it, be it a table, be it um, you know any other element. Um, it is still going to work. And in the same way, you could add these styles um, for. Remember, we are using the internal method, right? but these styles could still be added using the inline method remember we said we had the you know internal so, so this is the internal where the css you know styling is being added through the style tag in between the style tag at the level of the head um, but it can still be added you know inline inline means the same uh, you know alongside with the tag as an attribute right let's use an example perhaps we might want to make our, our heading is to green right but without using this so let's take that away and if i save this you notice my heading comes back to this right so we can at the level of the heading we can add a style and there we can add color right so no 
hollow I think yes if I'm not mistaken color three yeah so let's try that out let's change that color let's say green As you can see, the heading has been changed to green, right? So, um, lastly, CSS can be added using the external method. And the external method simply means creating an external CSS file, you know, and connecting it to your HTML document using the, the link tag, right? And this is a link tag. You know that um, link your HTML document to the CSS style sheet, right? So the CSS code remains the same, but the, but the difference is just the fact that the um, linking method is external, right? So you simply need to create a new CSS file, you know, with the extension .css, right? and then add the code and when when the code is uh with your css you know style written in the file you simply need to add um your css the the link tag you know at the level of the head where this is the name of your css file so that um, that can be easily achieved so um, we are going to end this session for today thank you for watching subscribe like share with other students and any other person who might want to get this thank you see you next time